do what thou wilt show me the whole new law. I intend to bring heaven to earth and release us all from bondage. The central philosophy of Thelema is in two phrases from Liber Al. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law, and love is the law, love under will. The two primary terms in these statements are will and love, respectively. In the Greek language, the words will and love are Thelema and Agape, and in the Greek alphanumeric system, they both sum to the number 93. So in the Greek language, the word Thelema is Theta, Epsilon, Lambda, Eta, Mu, Alpha, and these are the numbers 9, 5, 30, 8, 40, and 1, summing to 93. And Agape, which means love, is Alpha, Gamma, Alpha, Pi, Eta, and this is 1, 3, 1, 80, 8 and this sums to 93 as well. Notice that the letter pi is crafted into the Greek word love. Thelema is, like I said, the Greek word for will. Uh, if you know the Lord's Prayer by Will be done, in the original Greek was the word thelema. So it has the implication of the divine will. Um, but whenever we use it, we understand it as our will. Because in thelema, you are divine. You are that ultimate God. That God is within you. It's not some, someone or something outside you that you have to bend your knees to. Right? So our, the idea of blame is that our fullest self-development is essentially the same thing as becoming identified with the God within ourselves. So that, that God is nothing other than our, our true self. It's not something other than ourselves. Somewhat of an important point. So Thelema is the Greek word for will, and the entire philosophy of Thelema revolves around this concept of will, the law of here called true will. So the will of the individual is essentially their purpose in life, or the way in which they, they live their lives, the way in which they fulfill their potential and make it actual. So this distinguishes your will from your passing desires and whims. Crowley often said uh, that will is not want. Will is more of our essential purpose or our essential nature being expressed, not what other people tell us to express, or what society, religion, or peers think we ought to be doing, or you know, things we've internalized from our parents. None of that. It's really to find our true needs, our true nature, and express that. So, like I said, true will is not want. Crowley says, what is necessary is not to seek after some fantastic ideal, utterly unsuited to our real needs, but to discover the true nature of those needs and to fulfill them and rejoice there. If you wanted to know what Thelema really is about in plain language, you study this one quotation over and over again. It pretty much says it all. So what is necessary is not seek after some fantastic ideal. Think about all the ideals that you see through media, uh, you know, for example, body ideals, right? You have an ideal body that's fed to you through magazines and movies and all sorts of things that is probably totally unsuited to your real needs, right? Uh, think about that applied to everything. Think about your notion of what a spiritual person is, right? That too is an, a fantastic ideal. Every ideal you have is some kind of barrier to understand your actual needs, to discover the true nature of those needs and fulfill them and rejoice therein. Playing my, at the bottom of it is about knowing yourself and doing your will. I don't have to say it, but just do it. True will. Playing my is a philosophy of self-discipline. Means that everyone has the liberty to do whatever it is they may, they may will, but on the flip side of it, thou hast no right to do thy will. Which is to say, you have no right to do anything except your true will. So on the flip side, it's the strictest possible bond you can have. You can't do anything except that which you believe to be a true fulfillment of your nature. And as is often explained in, in many Thelemic resources, this is not the simple will of the ego, uh, of the personality. This is not wanting something necessarily. It is a deeper level of life purpose, the living out of the purpose of incarnation in an individual lifetime and across lifetimes. The true will is 
the will of the deepest inmost self of who you are and is an expression in your individual life of the universal will. This is why when we are living in accordance with our true will, we find that the universe seems to uh, open up a path right in front of us many of the, much of the time, um, as if it's cooperating in our, our walking of this path and our living out of our will. And when we feel ourselves grading up against life, it is very often the case that we have veered a little bit from the path of our true will, or perhaps we're receiving a lesson from the HGA or the universe itself, however you want to think of it, um, that is helping to nudge us back on to the path. In any case, the important thing to understand is that the true will is this uh, trans-egoic uh, life purpose idea rather than a simple wanting. As we delve inwards in our self-understanding and as we uh, peel the layers of the onion that is our, our personality makeup to discover what's at the core. Therefore, it's, uh, it's really much, much more than a, a singular choice or a single task. Now, often there's a great deal of overlap between the true will and, and what one chooses to spend one's time doing in life. For example, occupation, hobbies, that sort of thing. Um, it, it's very likely, the true will is very likely to overlap with your passions and your, your interests and preferences, but not always. Um, as we've said, this is not the simple will of the personality, of the, the ego, the Ruach. Uh, therefore, like many other things that the Ruach has to learn in life, sometimes it learns that what it's here to do, that what the ego is here to, to assist the, the deeper self in accomplishing, is not necessarily something that's going to be comfortable and uh, perfectly harmonious with its conceptions of itself. So you may find yourself at times feeling... Um, surprised by what you discover about your true will but even more frequently you may find that the discovery of the true will forces you to make some choices about lifestyle about priorities about career about relationships about any number of things that are, are, are somewhat painful painful choices to make and growth processes of course are often uncomfortable and make us stretch outside our comfort zone but that's all in service in this case it's all in service of making the egoic choices of our day-to-day -day lives uh, harmonize with the deeper needs of our soul and the in a sense the commandments of the HGA you might want to take a step back from your everyday circumstances and career and, and life choices and to think about it this way, that the true will is going to be something that would explain the way you affect the universe, that explains the choices and the paths that you tend to take. This central truth of who you are will express itself in a certain way, regardless of the, the mundane situation in which you find yourself, your location, your place of birth, your occupation family situation etc so perhaps that'll help in in understanding the scope of what we're discussing